All right, everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I'm doing tiny circles with it. We're double tiny circling it up today. Partner. That's right. Uh, yep, welcome back. I am Jeff. I'm Jason. And, uh, yep, we are dropping Moses on the ground so that Seth can, I don't, I don't even, I don't even want to know. Oh, I, dude, what's going on? Yeah, me, yeah. I ain't telling you shit. Oh. Ah, then I'm gonna cut you up piece by piece <laughs> till you find your tongue. It's in his, it's in his, it's in his mouth. In it's in his mouth, Seth. You take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. <laughs> I wanna come to a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never come to a. I like this guy. He seems like <laughs> our kind of folks. I, I, I just love that. It's an odd fellow's rich. This game. Yeah, a western game just gets dark and weird oh, sometimes. Oh yeah. Yep. Like weird western. Oh. Uh, I mean, and that's not even counting on Dead Nightmare. I mean, like it's it's not an undead nightmare is in this game where I don't even think that we got to, or we might have gotten to the first or separate but like the devil is in this game. Yeah. You just go talk to him. That's yeah. all that happens. Like it's not even like a thing you just go find him a few times. Oh, yeah! I never, uh, I never did encounter him. Oh I man! It. I mean, I watched the videos online. But... Yep. Well, he's dead. You leave him in the middle of no. Oh, I guess the deputies will come back eventually. But, all right. Uh, what are we doing? We're sending a telegraph. Uh, dear Miss uh, Beauregard, please remove your bonnet. I am on my way. Stop, John Marston. <laughs> like, <laughs> motherfucker! What? 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 <laughs> Man, if people did that in, in real life, I would be pushing people down all the time. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Speak to that Excuse me, sir. I uh. Here, I've been given a pardon. <laughs> Motherfucker! It's like, sir, so, so I don't know that Seth is the actual governor at this point. Okay, no man, look at his horse is fucking Just disturbing. No problem, mister. He was, yeah, he was the guy that kicked off Undead Nightmare, right? That uh, started the whole, uh... No, I think that the, no, that, it started before that. Because remember, it just started and Gary was, like, in his house. And then, like, the, and then, um... Wait, is that Greedo? Greedo, how'd you get yourself hooked up in this, this <laughs> bullshit? Hurry up and get No, I don't want to. Um... No, remember he was just in his house and like uncle's been feeling weird and then like they go to sleep. Yeah, but I thought later it explained that this thing with the mask had happened and Seth had something to do with it. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't remember. Who's it? What's, the, what's this guy doing? What do you got? Talk to the what's man. What's up? Your hat's stupid. My, my. Take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? I don't know how you expect me to do that, like sir. trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like <laughs> God, you good lord. <laughs> you, uh, you about to invite me to one of them key parties? <laughs> I'm married, so no. He, he kind of reminds me of the, uh, what the Monty Python, like the say no more, say no more. song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me, anybody hear this guy talking about dog's bones made of wood? I just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please... Wait, he doesn't, doesn't even tell him his name. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing I guess this was uh, this was just back in the old the days when you could just um, blather on to somebody about your whole life. See, and this is how it is, though. Yeah. Have you ridden the bus in Austin? No. Fuck this no. is what it's like. Why are you riding the bus in Austin? Sometimes I ride the bus because I got a long way to go to the office. Okay. And I don't want to drive, and I can sit there and work or read while yeah. I ride the bus and get things done rather than sitting in traffic for an hour. Uh-huh. And, sort of and somebody dressed like Seth sits down next to you. And y just if like, you yeah, don't have your headphones in, yeah. Oh God, people just think really I'm talk to you. Really? Yeah. And it's like I swear to God, there was someone yelling at a Gatorade bottle full of urine. <laughs> 
Wait, now were they were they complaining that the of the existence of a Gatorade bottle full of urine, or were they literally like having a conversation, just with like it? angrily yelling at it, like it had? <laughs> Beauregard, you son of a bitch! You owe yeah. me fourteen dollars. Perpetrated some sort of transgression at them, <laughs> and, and, and the smells and everything. So, yeah, that's what public transportation is like. Some okay. asshole just comes up and thinks, "Hey, I'm going to talk to this guy." Yeah, and he's going to appreciate. Why it. would you do that? What do they? What people think you want to like make friends with them or some shit? I don't like, know. I, I, like, I don't are know. you guys going to then, then you're going to find them on Facebook and you'll be like. Some misconnections on Craigslist. Me was talking to you in the bus. You kept pretending to listen to music, and yeah. and then there was the the sweaty large guy in the Slipknot T-shirt. Yeah, that guy's who, awesome. He, I was, I was like, <laughs> dude, it's ten in the morning, and I know vodka when I smell it, <laughs> and you Woo. sir are just emanating <laughs> vodka. Well, you know, if you're going to listen to Slipknot, you need a few a few belts yeah. off of the old, uh, yeah. the old potato train yeah. first. Uh, <laughs> Take a snort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fill your snoot. Fill your, uh, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Well, yeah. See, and all then, this just seems to me to be a good reason not to ride the bus. And then there's like, just, like, like blatant, what? like, vitriolic racism sometimes. Really? Yeah. Killer capture the fleeing prisoners. Uh, what do you think? Should we capture or, sh or kill? Uh, see, see your path K. of least resistance okay. is a bullet. More, 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 more. John Marsden doesn't like to capture. <laughs> I'd Seems like, like an awful lot of work. I like this. The second guy after this happens, just turn around and go, "I'm fucking surrendering." Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greedo, you want a piece of this? Get him, Greedo. Get him. Where do you think you're going, huh? <laughs> Wrong way, son. <laughs> Where, what, you think you're going to get away from me? <laughs> Look, I'm faster than you. <laughs> Does he oh. die eventually? I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, okay, there he is. Yep, yep. Let's let's see how long we can push him. <laughs> I want to I wanna see if I can fist fight him. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on. I want to do a thing. Hold on. This is yeah. for the audience of Rage Slick. God yeah. damn it. I will shoot you. Oh, oops. Uh, how do I cancel? Never mind. Well, I guess that's, that's no, all right. Not that button. <laughs> God, this is the slowest slow motion I've ever seen. See that, Greedo? That was that was fucking awesome. Come here. Um. Come on. Yeah, riding the bus. God damn. Yeah. It. I, it's I, a shit show, man. I used to ride the bus when I lived in Seattle, but. Seattle has a really nice public transportation yeah. system as opposed to Austin. Yeah, in Seattle, it's at least efficient. It's like in Austin, whoop, whoop, whoop. you got to deal with that nonsense, and it's very, very inefficient. Give me my, my money. $4. That was not worthwhile whatsoever. You deserve a push for that. Really, the work was its own reward. Me, sir. Mind on other things? <laughs> How much? Can I get more bounty the more I push you? Shoot at me, why don't you? Come on. Let's do, skin that smoke wagon, see what happens. <laughs> why doesn't he, wait, why doesn't he move? He's rooted to the spot. <laughs> the local sheriffs have been alerted to your trespasses and are coming to arrest you. How? All right. I'm coming. Sweet Lord. Here, have $10. <laughs> Take back the money that you gave me, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Oh, uh, oh, we lost all our honor. You just paid him 10 bucks to shove him. <laughs> Can I just skin this horse real quick? Horse meat. Mmm. Mm. Greedo, you want some of this? Delicious. <laughs> uh, I fed my cockatiel scrambled eggs the other day. Yeah. It felt weird. <laughs> that is a little weird. That's a little weird. It's like that episode of South Park where, where Cartman's feeding those cows jerky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yep. All right. Where are we headed now? Uh, the next, Nigel uh, West Dickhead. Uh, okay. Uh, see what he... God, he's got the worst missions. Yeah. Like, worse than Bonnie. You know, somebody wrote in, like, in the comment section, they were like, every time I, I think about going back and playing this game, um, I just can't stand the Bonnie missions so much that I don't play Red Dead Redemption. And I'm just like, well, man, come on. You could, you know, 
you, you, you get over it. Like, yeah. that would take too long. I bet they learned their lesson and that the new one is not going to have any of that nonsense because a lot of people complained about GTA it. GTA Five was rock solid when it came to quests. Yeah. And then it had the, the whole uh, Robin oh, system. I wonder if they'll have something like that where you get to rob banks, seven. right? Oh, man, right. that would be so amazing. I met up with your friend, Seth. Is that RC Cola? What is this, Topo Chico? Yes. Interesting fellow. You don't meet many men squirt? Days with the I only drink squirt. To straight to the chase <laughs> like that, do you? Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. <laughs> he even says his name with contempt. I oh, know. But did you know that in wait, wait, there's no such so thing as a professional exhumer, is there? Did I bring up uh, any of the speculation about uh, on previous episodes about Red Dead Redemption 2? Uh, I think maybe. About, about casting? Casting? No. Uh, some people have noted that there are a couple of voice actors that have mentioned on their CVs or uh, on uh, IMDb uh -huh. or on Twitter yeah. that uh, they have just done work with Rockstar. Okay. And a number of them were guys who provided voices in uh, the old gang. Oh, in, in, okay. In, in uh, Bill Williamson's uh, crew. That's that, ga that very crew. Yep. Nice. So that would indicate that maybe it's a prequel, and that maybe we get some John Marston. Maybe. Do you, maybe. I, I, maybe. I, I, this is maybe a thing that we can talk about. Do you want John Marston in the new Red Dead? Because I know it was just such a pitch perfect. End. Like this is a whole story about John Marston. We had two big stories about him, and I kind of like the idea of getting a new perspective. Even though, man, I like Gary Marston as much as the next guy, right? My, my favorite video game character of all time. Yeah. So it's like. It was so just pitch perfect in what? this one. What are you talking about? And it's like, oh, I want more, but do I really want more? I mean, d wouldn't you rather play as, like, like the, the Wild West equivalent of Trevor? <laughs> you make a compelling <laughs> argument. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Drop them. Drop them, Marson. Drop them. Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Yes. No. <laughs> uh, that's a trick question. Oh no! God damn it! Yeah. How did you? How did you trick me into this, Jason? Let's see if we can go over <laughs> some cliffs again. Oh this my time. goodness! How come I got to do all the races? Woo. You think I was some kind of racist? Sorry, that was. You're the best racist of all, Jeff. <laughs> You're really good at being a racist. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would almost rather see the series just not have, just not have any connections to this. Maybe like a, a wink and a nod. Maybe like in uh, you remember in. Um, You'd rather it be like, more like Grand Theft Auto. Well, like you know, in Vice City, I think there was like a series of missions, or it might have either been Vice City or. Um, what was the the third one? Uh, just GTA. No, no, no. The, San Andreas. San Andreas. That where you ran into like the protagonist, the silent protagonist from GTA 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that. Or like the way that, um, uh, what's his face from The Lost and the Damned is in Grand Theft Auto 5. Sure. For five minutes before. <laughs> yeah. Really, really Brilliant just fucking wrecked. goddamn terrible things happen. What? That yeah. is lies. I've been, uh, I've been considering, not that I have time, yeah, but I've been considering going back and playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, if you haven't played it since the first-person uh, perspective, uh, that is that makes it an entirely different game that yeah, you could yeah. totally play. So I, I played a little bit with that, uh, but I've got a copy. I think Cargill has my copy of it actually. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to go back and just play through the game again and and try out some of the online stuff. But I just don't have time because I don't have time. And when I do have time, that's usually spent. With it was Overwatch and now it's Player Unknown Battlegrounds. <laughs> As what's with know. what? What are you? What? Are, what has happened to you? I you don't know. Like an online first-person shooter guy now. Like next thing I know, you're gonna be really excited about the next Call of Duty and uh, uh, and the the big multiplayer scene. You're gonna start calling me a, a noob and, and uh, a bunch I of other stuff. I don't know. Both of them, they just got their hooks in me, and I'm now I'm decent at Overwatch now. Yeah, decent. How did you even get into Player Unknown Battleground? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> it was. Oh no, no, it was this weekend. 
it, and and I was like, oh, that, that looks kind of interesting. Okay, okay. And then Brushwood was like, hey, we're doing this this weekend. You should get it. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah. And I got it, and I started playing it, and I really like it, and I'm terrible at it because here's the thing. Yeah. No patience. All that, all that build up. Yeah. No, I, I got the patience. I got I got patience. But all that build up to conflict. Yeah. Man, I choke. I choke every time. Really? Oh yeah. It's like I had some guy in the doorway. I knew he was there. I was crouched down. I was like, come on, come on through. I had him dead to rights. He comes through. I shoot him a couple times. He kills me. And you were just like, ah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> just panic fire. Happens every time. All right. I'm Although, you know what I did? What's that? You know what I love to do? Tell me. Ran over some poor fools. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's good stuff. Find a car and running over people, that's fun. I feel like the winning strategy of that game is just find a car, put it as close to the center of the map as you can, get a sniper rifle, and get a bead on that car, and anybody that tries to get in it, just shoot him in the face. I like, did that. Yeah. I did that yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was good. This guy just, I just sat, I was actually sitting in, I didn't, no, I didn't do that exact thing. I was sitting in the car. Yeah. And I was just like, just sitting there. And this guy pulls up in his car and he gets out because it was near some houses. He gets out and he's kind of looking around the houses and everything. I just step out of the car, shoot him, get back into the car and just sit there for a while. Well, you just listen to the radio? <laughs> yeah. Just checking out a little NPR yep. Yep. while you're waiting? Yep. Yeah, they're playing this sweet air supply jam. <laughs> Oh my god, I but feel like I get so tense. Yeah. I get so tense that like I had my stupid ass bird on my shoulder. Uh-huh. And I was like hiding and I could hear footsteps and I knew I knew that they were in the house and I knew that they knew that I was in the house too. Yeah. And so I was just like lying in wait, like trying to be perfectly still. And my damn bird, my cockatiel just goes, tweet and I'm like, You're gonna give away our position. <laughs> oh wait, no. So I was like, shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Here we are. What, what, if, what if Red Dead Redemption 2 is all... It's all racing. Racing and Bonnie missions. Right, it's all, yeah. And helping... Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnie's race-tastic, Bonnie <laughs> Kart 5000. The expansion pack, the adventures of young Nigel West Dickhead. <laughs> oh, god damn. I will shoot you. <laughs> Can I get a do for you on the front of this? <laughs> like to maybe ride the horse and play some sweet licks with fire shooting everywhere. He's racist. He's just like, mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, go. Which one of these goes? Go, go, go. Fly. Fly like the wind, bitch. Shiny and crow. What, motherfuckers? You, everybody get off my roads. What? I thought you said this was a clean race. That guy set the racetrack on fire. <laughs> Fuck you! Who's lighting these, uh... <laughs> Who's lighting all these fires on the road? God damn it. Go! Go, 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 go! Get off me! What do you think this is, Ben-Hur? Fuck off! Now this is pod racing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> now this is horse racing. I think I, I think I made that joke on another video. Well, by the time this comes up, it'll be like a week and a half ago, but... Come on, man. Let's cut, cut some corners. I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart recently. Yeah, drift. Give me that red shell. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, you get stuck in the mud. Ah, shit. Use, use a ghost. Ah, shit. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Bite him. You get what? A, Why is this thing not maybe move? Get a, maybe get a star. You horse? Use your star. God damn it. Do, 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 do. OK, yeah. Let it never be said. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a statement. I don't feel like this is all that. Wait, you can hold. If I whipped my horse too much, I think it's just continuous whipping. Um, I'm gonna make a statement here. I don't feel like this is controversial. Fuck the racing missions in every video <laughs> game ever in the history of mankind. Every goddamn time a game's like, hey everybody, I heard there's racing over here, and it's just like, well you can fucking keep that because <laughs> yeah. I'm here to shoot people and uh, skin animals. What was, were there? Were there like? I want to say was it like Fallout 4 maybe? The Fallout 4 has some racing missions. Oh, it, I don't know. Oh, it was Witcher. It was Witcher oh, that, I, that I played kind of like horse, recently. Horse races? Yeah. And I was just like, no. Yeah, fuck. Not doing the, that. Fuck. Not playing any oh. Gwent. Yep. 
Well, I'd rather play Gwent than a goddamn horse race. Oh, agree. Fucking, agree. Whoa, hey, everybody. Oops, shit. Oh. Uh, what the fuck, man? Is this the one? Go, horse, go. Wow, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to be placed back on the horse? The race will be restarted if not. Uh, yes. Oh, now I'm in like you'll, you'll double eighth in. place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like eighth you're, out of. You're like tenth out of eight. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Fuck off. Here's like I don't. I don't know what this is all you, about. You gotta win, right? To to proceed. Oh, I don't think so. Oh Jesus. No? Oh good lord. Which one of these makes my horse drift? I need more Nas. Uh, you know, Greedo's just sitting back, like, watching this and shaking his head while sipping a mint julep <laughs> and wearing his fancy Kentucky Derby hat. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Wait, how many laps are we are we doing? Because I'm back up to third after literally falling off of a cliff, so... Maybe if I finish in the top three, it'll let me never do this ever the fuck again. Yeah, I wish if you finished poorly enough, the game would be like... Racing's maybe not your thing. Yeah, let's just you not just ignore this and pretend it never happened. And you know what? Never make you race again. You know what? Also, anything that that is racing but pretends like it's not racing, like when you're playing like Infamous and it's like, oh man, you got to go through these, uh, through these. Oh, oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> that was that was three oh fuck yous. Um, where they're like, oh, you got to go through these rings in the time limit. Oh, yeah. Or like Just Cause 3, where it's like, oh, oh, uh, uh, wingsuit fly through these rings. Yeah. If it resembles pilot race, it can also go fuck itself. I fucking hate racing. Yeah. Uh, Wipeout XL and is, Mario Kart. And if it ain't one of those, then you can keep it. Burnout. Maybe Burnout. Yes, Burnout is also an exception. I miss Burnout real bad. Okay, so let's try. I'm in first place. Let's try not to fuck this up. Let's try not to fuck it up. I miss Burnout, like, really bad. Yeah, me too. It's a damn shame. I don't know. That's one of those They're ones just like, no, but Need for Speed. It's like, no. Yeah. Go to hell. Yeah. Burnout. Fuck, yeah, fuck Need for Speed. Burnout. Man, that Aftertouch minigame and Burnout 3 takedown where yeah. you're like, uh, I'd spent hours doing that shit. I still have the soundtrack to that game. The, the F-Ups, Lazy Generation. That was like the title track. I, uh, thing. Around that time, I that's when I bought my projector. Uh -huh. And I was oh, you were all single dude. Yeah. And I would just stay home and like the whole wall yeah. was burnout. Yep. Oh, fuck. And I would just Friday night, like burnout, taking up the whole wall. Yep. Drinking. Yep. Oh, shit. And, oh, it was bliss. Oh, oh, it was oh, so oh, good. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, well, dude, fuck you with this. That was some poor shit. Get off. Get out of the way. Uh, can I put some, like, big old map markers out here so that I know where the fuck I'm going? Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, yeah, turn now it's Now it's all... God, they're trying so hard to push Need for Speed on us, but it's just like... I just, never I, ne I never cared. I never... Even yeah. back in the, like, the... The salad days of Need for Speed, I never cared about Need for Speed. Yeah. Like, give me Road Rash or or something better. Road, road Blasters. <laughs> road Blasters. Yeah, man, get those uh, get those green orbs. You're running <laughs> out of gas. That's right. Fuck. Got that controller, that uh, Star Wars, uh, the arcade game controller. Oh, with yeah. With little sideways things. You can point your guns up in the air. That's right. Fucking Road Blasters. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer the stand up or the sit all the way down in the cabinet? Road Blasters. Oh, the sit down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever play that uh, that G Lock where they, or the app, no, the Afterburner where they Hell had that yeah. giant, it cost like $2 to remember, play. Remember when games like that were a thing? Yep. And you could find those, like, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Afterburner, and you could, like, turn upside down and everything. I don't think you could go all the way upside down. There was one that was like that where you could, I uh, think. I heard a kid died on that one, actually. Really? No, I'm just, uh, that sounds like a thing that somebody would say. <laughs> Do you remember, uh, what, Silent Scope? Yeah. Uh, hey, yep. Mister. With the sniper? Yep. Part. With the, the, the pink eye factory? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my goddamn money? Speaking of pink eye, I will shoot your. I will I need shoot a, this. I need a salve for my eyes, cause Greedo, when I'm sleeping, keeps what, rubbing his butt in my face. What are you looking at, Nigel? 
What are, all right, fine. He is calm under pressure. Dude, I just thought of the perfect mission to add into this as like a DLC mission. What's that? It's like, uh, uh, no, it's, it's too much. They would never actually, Rockstar would never actually do it because they're too classy. But like, what if you had a mission and it turns out that like the conceit of the mission is that the people that you're getting the mission from are like Star Trek people who have gone back in time and have to like fix some bullshit. <laughs> you know, like one of those episodes where like Spock oh. puts on a hat over his ears. Yeah, and, yeah. Or, and, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, William Shatner dresses up like a Native American. Yeah. Like, what was his name? Karak or something like that? Oh, I don't know. Was that an actual thing? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. You should look it up. It's it's an atrocity. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> William Shatner, the Native American. <laughs> like, headdress and everything. It's wow. so bad. That's awesome. Speaking of Shatner, I've been watching this TV show called uh, from a couple of years ago called Weird or What. Okay. And it's basically like a... You know, like Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah, like an unsolved mysteries, like the Mothman, you know, and blah blah blah, and all of that bullshit. And, yeah, uh, and it's hosted by William Shatner, but it's it's hosted out of his house. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his cable access show. <laughs> yeah, and he just it's like you know he just agreed to it. He's like, all right, I'll do this show, but you've got to come to my house. Right, we'll just shoot it in my garden. Right. He's like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go into the studio. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. Um, For that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Yay! Yeah, Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Uh, uh, he's uh, like a uh, horse dong. In, uh, Armadillo he's from he's from Russia. I know that's a little confusing, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, great, an alcoholic arms dealer. What? Who loves horse penis? Did I make that clear? I think I did. Sounds like our kind of people. Even though none of the horses in this game have dong. Except for that one scene. Oh, yeah. That's Where true. Irish gropes the... Yep. The horse. The horse wank. Yep. I got $3 for that race. <laughs> that You've got to be fucking kidding me. Yes. Okay. And 200 fame. I don't know. Fame Greenhorn. Okay. So let's see. Where, where, where are we at? We're at 26 minutes. We probably got enough time. Is there something near... Uh, you got Chula Springs. Why don't we go do... Uh, that seems like a long way away. Seth, let's just go do whatever the yeah, fuck else. Yeah, let's do it. See what he wants now. Hey, fuck face. Yeah, get over here. I'm like a scorpion with this horse. Yep, that's my dog. I just let him do whatever he wants to. Um... So anyway, so it's just Shatner in his house fucking like yeah. doing his best Robert Stack impressions. Yeah, just uh What is what is a he, moth? He man? ends every section where he's like, So is that weird? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the name of the show, Weird or What? <laughs> I like this who could pitch Shatner a new show for Rage Life. It's called like the fuck, man? <laughs> the fuck, man? And it's like, we just have him read weird news that happens every week, and then and he's like, so, the fuck, man? Uh, <laughs> so you never heard of the Mothman? No. I heard of the Mothman prophecies. It's the same thing. Is he a Mothman? Is he a man that's like half man, half moth? It's like some sort of cryptid. A yeah. woman had sex with a moth, and now it's like... Is yes. it like Arthur from The Tick? Is like that this, uh, <laughs> yeah, That's exactly what it is. No, it, yeah, it's a... It's, a, it, it's just like... Uh, all of these sightings in this one area mm -hmm. in the U.S., like uh, somewhere in the Northeast, I don't remember. But the Mothman Prophecies was based on it, and they're like these legendary sightings of, of the Mothman. And it's this this moth person with these like glowing red eyes in the woods. Does he have the little the little uh, antenna with the little other antenna coming off of him so it looks all <laughs> like feathery and shit? Yeah. Damn, it's that same deer. Man, you got to get to work. Fuck. Yeah, the Dude. Mothman. Okay. Does it like eat people or? Uh, I don't know. Is it know. like a I think more just, of a Sasquatch figure? Just I think kinda... it just like yeah, it's more of a Sasquatch figure. It just screeches. Then you're gonna have your outliers who, you know, claim to have encounters with it or have been like ha had sexual relations. Who would win in a fight between the Mothman and the Jersey Devil? Oh man, I'm gonna go with the Jersey Devil. What about Jersey Devil Chupacabra? Uh, also Marston, Jersey Devil. Sir. Okay. John Marston. Jersey Devil Sasquatch. Jersey Devil. Really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. The Jersey Devil is like <laughs> like large, like horse size with claws. It's yeah. A formidable claws. What about like a Jersey Devil and like a uh, like a manticore? Manticore. Manticore. The manticores are creepy. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, 
You need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. Uh, it's it's a pretty blank you. slate in there. <laughs> sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of If by tonic you mean drinking a bunch of Listerine, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Punch him in the nose. Punch him in the nose, Gary. (laughs) Thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. He just threatened to disembowel you, (laughs) Nigel. Um, Sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and right. Yeah, you pull your dick out or? or A selfless act. Oh. For you, but sir, before I act selflessly, God, I hate him. He's so horrible. <laughs> you know if he takes takes that top hat off? Yeah. It's like actually a penis. <laughs> That's why he wears the top hat. It's just a, a, just a big penis hat on there. Yep. <laughs> what is it specifically about him that bothers you again? It just annoys the shit out of me, Okay. Man. More so than any of the other creepy creeps and uh, I think so. Is he your least favorite rock star character of all time? Uh no. What about what's his uh, I hated the dude's family from Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh uh, Mike's Michael's family? Yeah, they were just kid. So yeah. Detestable. Oh. What about um You should just go to cocaine mode right now and just kill all of them. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, I'm just a regular crowd person who happened to walk up with this asshole. Yep. Oh, we're doing it again, but it's going to go wrong this time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're at about 30 minutes, so let's... I wish every time Nigel said lumbago, yeah. that Gary would go, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Gary, please, this is Mambo number five. And then, like, everyone there just starts like, oh, great, now I've got it in my head. A little bit of Gary in my life. A little bit of Gary. He just says Gary over and over. over and over Occasionally he puts Greedo yeah. in there. Nigel's like, it's not even the words. <laughs> If science is not your forte, good day, one and all. What? What would lead a person? Oh, God damn it. What would lead a person to be like, you know what I think I want to do? I think I want to risk my life by selling, by bilking everybody, people who have guns out of, oh, shit. Are we supposed to, are we supposed to kill these motherfuckers? I think so. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, no, no, that kind of party. Oh, stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. What you got? Hey, look, his head, uh, his hat came off. Hey, there's no penis. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> Jesus. You got to make sure the horse is dead. I think the guy's still alive, actually. I thought we're going to get the guy behind him, too. Nope. Nope. What's up? Whoa, what? God damn it. Oh, wait, hold on. One, two. Yeah, that's fine. Just in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Um, anyway, let's wrap it up uh, since we're a little over 30 here. Uh, folks, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you'd like to see these videos, well, yeah, a little bit earlier, just head on over to Rage Select. Every Sunday, we're playing Red Dead. Uh, if you would like to help us continue to stay in business and play Red Dead and all the great things that you love, more than life itself, uh, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Basically, kick us some bucks in return. We'll kick you some bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Bop, 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 bop. Also, this bird over here. Bop, bop, bop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, patreon.com forward slash rage select. And Jason, what would you like to tell the fine audience, uh, the studio audience today about? Uh, if uh, you search for the Black Goat Motorcycle Club on SoundCloud, you can listen to a serialized version of my novel for free. What? I don't even have to read it with my eyes? You do not. I can read it with my ears? Correct, sir. What the fuck? This is like witchcraft. And uh, I'm on uh, the Modern Rogue Uh-oh, shit. every Friday. Check it out. Man, I was trying to shoot him in the head. I'm so sorry. Are you guys really going <laughs> to... Is this worth dying over? What is this <laughs> bird trying to get revenge on you? What's yeah. happening? You killed my brother. What the fuck? What? You can shoot the TNT. Oh, shit. Wait, we blocked the road. Where? Where's the road block? Oh, it's oh, there way it up is. there. I'm just trying to kill the guys behind us first. Yeah, take care of those assholes first. Kill. You can kill this motherfucker. I don't really know him. We're not really together, the two of us. 
Uh, oh, look. Is that the TNT? Like, right there? What the fuck? There it is. Yeah! Blowing up barrels. One of Jason Murphy's four favorite yeah. things in video games. Did that on the Modern Rogue recently. Yeah, blowing up barrels, uh, turret sections. Turrets. Running people over with cars. Yep. These and are a few of my favorite things. Is that it? What else? What else? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it's kind of the, 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 those, those are the big three. Okay. That's the, the triumvirate. Yep. The Holy Trinity. Yeah. Okay. Well, I tell you what, this seems like it's going to go on for a little while, so we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, and next week, you get to take over the rest of this segment, Jason. Okay. So. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next week.